Transgender issues once again the topic at ECU tonight as a national leader on the subject spoke to dozens. The goal of the event to educate and start dialogue about an issue those in the trans community say is very misunderstood. WNCT's Josh Birch was there for it all and Josh what happened out there tonight? Well, Ken, people of all ages and backgrounds were on hand at the event. I even spoke with a parent of a Pitt County school student who was transgendered and is being bullied because of it. The message to take away from it all. Both sides need to come to the table to make action possible. I want everything that they want. We have so many things in common. People have to see that. For AJ Fonville, the hardships and dangers transgender people face is real. He recently just won several court cases in Beaufort County as he was assaulted for being trans. I was called queer, it, that thing. The public's perception of trans people was just one of many things touched on during a special event at ECU. The guest speaker, Mara Kiesling, director of the National Center for Transgender Equality. She says gender identification on IDs is just one thing they're fighting. What's on your ID documents is a, is a really vitally important thing to trans people, and we're trying to make it possible for trans people to get documents that match who they really are. Kiesling also brought up the recent decision to expand rights when it comes to public accommodations to the LGBT community in Charlotte. She says the debate that lawmakers are now making about bathroom safety shouldn't be an issue. There's not a lot of North Carolinians tonight thinking, oh my God, the bathrooms are overrun with the wrong people. I think people feel like the, their ways of doing things are being threatened. Those in attendance agree that for positive action to be taken, both sides need to understand the other better. One way to do that, by opening up the line of communication. I sit down and speak with people. I, when I come up upon people in the community, I walk up to people and talk to them, I introduce myself, shake hands. Now, top lawmakers in the state, including Governor McCrory, remain determined to take state action to overturn the decision made last week by the Charlotte City Council. Of course, we will continue following this story and bring you the latest details. Josh Birch, 9 on your side.